Well, hey folks, welcome back to the channel. I am Brian, and today I'm gonna quickly go over this really super cool little tiny power station from EBL. I am doing a giveaway on this thing on my main channel, and during the testing of this, I thought it deserved its own actual tiny little review because it really has impressed me, not only with the tiny little form factor and size, but everything on it works well. And it's just absolutely dead on spot perfect for a single person, one night little tent camping thing. If you want to run some lights, charge your phone, charge your iPad, these are the type of power stations that are just perfect for that. They're not your huge power stations that you can't lug around. This thing literally can be put in a backpack. And right now on Amazon, it's on sale for $159. That's 55 cents a watt hour. I've seen little USB power banks cost more than this does, and you don't get half of the features that this little power station has. So let's come in and look what this thing can do. So what do you get for $159? First, you don't get a real pretty LCD screen, but you get a screen that's gonna give you the information that you want. It's actually got a battery gauge with a percentage countdown till you're empty. On the DC side of things, you get a 12 volt, 10 amp car socket and two 5521 outputs that you can use for all of your DC functions. You can use this for a 12 volt compressor cooler. However, I want to tell you that this thing is not regulated, so it will probably not run it overnight. You got three quick charge USB-A outputs, and these are rated at 18 watts a piece, as well as a type C power delivery output. You get one AC output, and this thing is rated at 330 watts, and this is pure sign, and you've got your 12 to 24 volt input. So this does accept solar up to five amps, as well as your AC charger. And I actually like the light on this unit. It's up front where you actually need it. It's not in the back. And it's just one button and it turns this light on and it's a nice warm yellow light. It's not going to be real uncomfortable to your eyes at night in a dark tent. And I just love the fact it's just on and off. There's not a whole lot of finicking around with this little light switch. And then up top, you also have a five watt wireless charging pad and it's charging at five watts and a fold flat handle. So this top can be completely flat, which lets you put things on top of it and get into the little nooks and crannies of your tent or your camper or your truck or wherever. It doesn't take up a lot of room. Now to show you kind of how small this thing really is, here is a Jackery Explorer 300. This EBL is actually much less wide. It's actually not as tall because of the full flat handle. It's just about half an inch thicker than the Jackery, but it is just a tiny little form factor battery. Absolutely perfect for little one-nighters. Now, of course, this does have the 330 watt AC output. And at idle, that's at 113 volts. So I'm just gonna plug in a 60 watt incandescent bulb into this thing. At 71 watts, we're pulling over 110 volts. And check out the sine wave on this. Absolutely perfectly clean sine wave. So you could technically hook up your laptop to this thing if you had to. This is rated at around 330 watts output, which I wouldn't come anywhere near it. But this is about a 250 watt incandescent light bulb array. And I'll hook it up to this little inverter. And it runs it just fine. And I can screw in one more light bulb and see what we get up to. Wow, and we are now at 325 watts. So you can see here from the screen, 322 watts. This is a 330 watt rated power supply. Absolutely amazing that this tiny little power station can run this to me. And this is again, a 60 watt power delivery output and I've got it charging up my Bouge RV at 60 watts exactly. Actually 61 watts. So the power delivery port on this thing works fantastic. So let me put this down and show you what actually comes in this box. So you're gonna get your AC wall charger, DC to 7909 charger, and it also comes with little MC4 to 7909 input as well if you have a little 100 watt solar, solar panel. Now again, remember this is 12 to 24 volts or five amps max, so you're not gonna put a whole lot of solar in this. So again, gang, just a really quick little overview of this power station, and again, I will be giving one of these away this Thursday on my main channel, but 
I really thought this deserved its own little dedicated review because this little guy truly has quite impressed me. One of the main things I can see me using this for is on road trips with my kids, throw this little power station in between both car seats, plug up the kid's phone to this, and they're gonna be fine the whole way there. So that's just one of the uses I can think of for this because it is so light and it doesn't take up any space. And if you've got a tiny little tent, throw this in your tent, it's gonna run LED lights all night easily. And it's gonna recharge at 60 watts via AC if you have it. So you've got about, you know, around four hours possibly to recharge this thing from zero to 100. On a power station this small, I honestly don't care if it's got fast charge or not. I'm not using this to keep me alive. I'm using this to keep my phones topped off, possibly my drone batteries topped off. So I don't really care if it's got fast charge or not. At $159, this thing rocks. Inverter's great. Power delivery output outputs what it's rated at. The wireless charging pad up top. The light that I actually like. Now EBL's got quite a few of these models. They go all the way up to a thousand watts. This is the smallest one that they make. And if any of their other models are comparable to the quality of this thing, I would be interested in checking those out as well. But anyway, folks, that's just a really quick review over this tiny little EBL. And again, remember, go check out my other channel because I'm giving this thing away this week. So go check that out if you're interested in receiving this. But overall, guys, just a really cool little power station. And I'm going to be a little bit sad to see this thing go. But anyway, folks, thanks for watching. Take care and we'll see you soon. Bye.